Hey guys, okay, so I got a few requests, actually got some inboxes from people wondering about my braces and I thought I would actually pull out my video camera and shoot a video, kind of give you an idea. And I also said my next video is going to be about dental care anyways. Because dental care when you eat braces, oh my god, is so, so important, like today. I was eating pizza, yes, I already said not to eat it, but I ate it, it was like really soft, like literally bread, like like the bread texture soft like that Chuck E. Cheese go figure um it was fine um I literally had to clean my teeth afterwards which going into the uh, bathroom at Chuck E. Cheese is and brushing my teeth and people look at you like you are very strange but you know what I've actually gotten pretty used to it so um I got a few requests to make a video about things about what I'm experiencing and what a bite block is and that is kind of like what I'm gonna go and talk to you guys today about so the very first question is what is bite block so a bite block is I think I talked about this before um, something that is put on the back of your molars so that you don't um, like how would you say, break your like chew on your braces because your brackets um, it's going to be very, very, very hard for me to actually show my bite block, but when that one fell out, like I was explaining, um, I actually kept it, so, um, I will show you, and it's not like anything that is, um, um, uh, uncomfortable, like, you have to get used to it, but, um, it's not something that you'll notice every single day once you get used to your braces, so, this is what my bite block looks like and it's kind of like if you're filling a tooth and that's what it is but it's it's placed on top of your tooth so that you don't um bite the bracket and like cut your mouth open i think but this is what it looks like um so it's just like a um you know it's just like a little filling i guess you could say it's really small you can tell right there there my hand is shaking so that's what it looks like and mine's blue um so yeah and then you can kind of see what the inside of it looks like which um is the impression basically of what your tooth looks like so that's what the inside of it looks like i don't know if you can tell like that yeah so i there we go okay so um it's something that will come off eventually like they said it's fine if I don't have it on because they said as long as my other one's on it's fine that's kind of weird because you would think that it's put there for a reason but whatever we will see all right so um the other thing is um people have wondered what do you use for when your teeth hurts because it's gonna hurt for a while of course we use um ibuprofen so Ibuprofen is going to be the best thing um, to use when your teeth are bothersome. Um, it shouldn't be extremely um, painful to wear that um, you're going to have to take like major painkillers. It eventually will subdue like or subside I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so I just take that and then when a bracket is like piercing my teeth, um, I mean piercing my, my uh how do you say that? My, uh, my lip, like underneath my lip or my roof or my, like, inside, I use wax. So the wax that I use is from, uh, Dentec, it's this one, and it's like that, and it, it's kind of cool because, um, you just, like, mold it, and it comes in little containers, and it's got, like, these things that you just peel off, and you just stick it to your teeth and the best way of sticking it to your teeth is to make sure your teeth is dry because it will not but yeah you really don't have to have a lot so that's a plus so i definitely use wax when uh my teeth is bothersome i guess you could say um the other thing is toothbrush what type of, and a lot of people are like well, what toothbrushes do you use for your braces and i'm like i was thinking the same way and because i you know, I kind of researched and everything, and I'm like, well, what toothbrushes do you use? And 
there was really nothing, no explanation of which toothbrush you should use. And so I was like, Ooh, okay. So I ended up first using this one toothbrush. And this makes perfectly good sense of why the cheap old toothbrushes that the dentist is, I'll show you, they give you. Um, you would look at it and you'd be like, why would they be giving me a brush like this? Because this is really, uh, really stupid. But this was the brush that my orthodontist gave to me. Um, it almost literally looks like a child's toothbrush. I've not opened it because I have my own. But yeah, that's the one they gave me. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm it's kind of stupid. So I used my regular toothbrush that I had um, already at home. And it was this one. So this is just a Colgate. Um, it doesn't say what brand. I think it's like a Colgate 360. I think. Um, but if you notice, yes, it's pretty, pretty colors. You know, it's got its bristles, but inside, by the way, I don't use this one anymore, so I can kind of show you. Um, inside, if you look, come on. I don't know if it's going to do it. This is really kind of hard to show you, but um, here. Do you see the green thingies right there? Oh, there you go. So those are like hard plastic and um, when I was using it to brush my teeth, um, it was actually causing my teeth to bleed and then it was catching on my braces. So I actually stopped using it because the rubbery things actually was I think causing more damage to my braces than I even knew. So um, I have two toothbrushes that I, two toothbrushes that I use. Um, I travel because I work nights, so I bring a toothbrush and toothpaste with me at night. And it is just the regular toothbrush that my orthodont, I mean my dentist gave me, the one where I get all my cleanings because I go to two different ones. It's just a regular one with like bristles. And um, at home, I use the um, Philips Sonicare. So you kind of see right there, there and it's looks like that so and it's got a steery pod if you're wondering about the steery pods you can actually google them they're um supposed to be a sanitizer for your toothbrush so those are the toothbrushes that i use um i would definitely stay away from anything with a um piece of like rubber um like i showed you in the middle of it because if you do that then it's going to eventually probably like hurt your teeth in the end so yeah um the other thing is when you get your braces put on you have to floss and I probably don't floss as much as I should um I do floss at night time um and then if I have anything like really bothering some in my teeth during the day I'll do that anyways I bring tooth uh floss with me um in my purse so that's always with me as well um, the, the best, well, I think the best, uh, floss to use is the Oral-B Super Floss, so it looks like this. Um, now the reason why I say this is because in the end, it comes in a package like this, um, right here, if you can see right here, right there are um they're like um how would you say this they're like a harder surface and they're threaders so this one will actually get in between my braces and then I can use it that way um when I got these these are like a couple bucks so they're a little bit um more expensive but they're definitely worth it um they're 50 pre-cut strands I have two boxes of these um, I've had my braces on for almost a month, yeah, almost a month, and I'm still on the first package, so um, it's good for about two months, I guess you could say, so yeah, and then um, you can also get the Dentec Braces Clean Splash Picks, um, these are pretty good for floss in like the little areas. I've been having problems trying to get them in there, but they're meant for braces, it says. Um, and it does have the um, little 
pokey things on the end to get in between the teeth that is um, got a lot of stuff into it. So, yeah. Um, and then toothpaste. So toothpaste really just depends on your own like persona. So depends on what you want. I don't have anything that is special. Um, I do use um, different toothpaste that you know clean your teeth, but there's nothing really particular. I do like the like the white the whitening toothpaste because of my teeth. I want to keep them white um, because I don't want them to like have white spots and all kinds of weird colors on my teeth permanently. So yeah, I will use something with the whitening in it. Um, but I've learned that my teeth has gotten sensitive, so I was using sensitive, and that actually um, started making my teeth more sensitive. So I stopped doing that, and I'm using like um, like the Colgate uh, white white strip thingies and then um the max max breath i think it's called and then um i was using 3d i still have a little bit of the crest 3d but um i'm looking to get a different toothpaste just because i like trying different ones out um and then going on to mouthwash so with me myself i'm not a person that likes alcohol in my mouthwash like the um alcohol like intensity so I always get alcohol free I, I feel that's a little bit better on your mouth um, and you know when you have your braces that you have um, you're more susceptible for your teeth to have like uh, cuts from the metal on it on the inside so less alcohol is better because it's like pouring alcohol on an open cut it hurts it burns um, so I use alcohol free. Um, the one I'm recently currently using is the Listerine Zero. Um, I'm not too fond of this. Um, the Crest one I'm not too fond about because it was staining my teeth. Um, this one kind of gives me the taste of like a um, like a, I, I feel that it kind of tastes like Windex. Um, so the clean mint one does. Maybe that there's other flavors that um, doesn't you know taste like Windex I don't know um and then also I you know that's like a couple bucks um I also got the Colgate Phosphor Ortho Defense it looks like this um I would have to say that this probably is the most important um solution and rinse to get um if you you know if you want to invest on something I would have to say invest on this it is kind of expensive I think this one was 12 or 14 dollars at Walmart which is I think a lot for um mouthwash um but it does have fluoride in it I believe um yeah it's got fluoride in it um and it's got 16 flu ounce, ounces which is 473 milligrams which is if you look at it it's about 47 times that you can use this so that's over a month of usage which is fairly okay and I actually called my dentist and he said that I should have missed it and I'm praying and praying that this is going to help me prevent those white spots which that's the other thing is if you don't brush your teeth often and or anything like that then um there's a chance that your teeth will have white spots that are like permanent so you definitely don't want those on there so I will take anybody's advice to make sure I guess I'm a sucker for that but anyways um I hope that you guys enjoyed my um braces like stuff video but <laughs> um if you guys want to see more um videos like this on this camera then let me know um or I just continue to use my iPhone but uh I'm going to go for now. It's getting late and